Welcome to Deadly Dames and this is going to be this week's pickups. So I'm um, putting them on a little bit earlier than usual uh, mainly because I've had an email through from Arrow Video advising that um, something very special has been posted to me so I'm really really hoping that it arrives tomorrow or Saturday um, so that I can do an unboxing on just its own because I, I can't wait to receive it. I'm really really looking forward to it. So this week I've got a little bit of a mixture. I think I've, I was feeling a little bit down after everything that happened last week and I think because I was now able to get out of the house I just kind of went shopping, spending, happy, which I shouldn't have done but ah, it's done now. So anyway, starting off with, I've got this new label here which is called Powerhouse. Oh, hold on, I'll try and move this in a position where there's no glare. Two seconds. Yeah, that's better. Um, yeah, so this new label here by in, um, Indic in, try that again, in Dictator, um, which is by a company called Powerhouse. They're starting to release a lot of uh, Sony movies, and this is number one. So if you see the side there, Christine. It comes as well. You can see there's dual dual format special edition. It's loaded with special features. I also got the second one as well, which was Body Double. Um, Body Double is actually a Brian De Palma movie which I've never seen. I was secretly hoping that Arrow Video would release it because obviously they've released so many Brian De Palma movies but obviously this um, powerhouse company snuck in there and, and got it to before Arrow have. This is a UK based company but you can see there that they do multi-region and they're not that expensive. You can get them on Amazon for, well I got these ones for £12.99 so I think that's quite a good deal. They're releasing quite a mixture as well. Um, happy Birthday to Me, um, a couple of Sydney Porter ones. There's one with Jack Nicholson in it, but I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, but these are just the first two, so I think they're going to be releasing two a month. So I'm not sure. I think, I think it's the Sydney Porter ones, which are next month, so I need to keep a wee eye out for them. I also got, I did get a couple of new steelbooks. Uh, <laughs> you don't laugh at me, but they are chick flick ones, so I got Juno. Now, it was only £6 for this, and to be honest, Juno's actually not a bad movie. I quite enjoy it. It is a guilty pleasure of mine. But it's actually um, a metal pack rather than a steelbook, which I'm not that big a fan about. But it wasn't that expensive, so I figured why not. And I also got um, Little Miss Sunshine as well, which is the same same style, same price. Um, so I'm guessing this is sort of a line that, is it 20th Century did both of these, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm guessing this is like a, a metal pack line that they're releasing. I quite I think the artwork's quite interesting on both of them, so both a uh, guilty pleasure movies, so let's hide them and pretend you didn't see them. And then I've got finally managed to pick up Sorry, it was stuck to another one there. The Descent Steelbook. In fact what I'll do, I'll try not to drop you doing this. I'll just open it up because you won't be able to see this. And it's fullest form. There we are. Because I think that is an amazing steelbook. Um, I love how all the actresses make up the skull face. Um, fantastic. Like, even her shoes and that fit perfect into there. But yeah, so picked up the Descent. I've been meaning to get this in Blu-ray for quite a while, but I wanted to get the steelbook, so that's why I was holding off until I seen it at a decent price. I also treated my other half to this movie, which is The Birds. This is the anniversary edition, so it's actually, it comes in a, it pulls out and then it comes out to a steelbook here, which has got, obviously Alfred Hitchcock made up of birds here, and then the kind of classic Alfred Hitchcock in the, like the birds poster there as well. I hope that they kind of do a few of these because I love the birds and I love Psycho, I love Vertigo, I love all those uh, old Alfred Hitchcock movies and it would be nice to see them releasing quite a few of them like this. Oh, oh well, can I get it back in the box right now, I'll get it back in later. I went back to HMV as well and I got another couple of their premium collections, so I got The Shining which is the extended edition, so I believe it's got an extra 20 minutes. See if I can see it on here. 
Oh, an additional 25 minutes on this one. I mean, it's a long enough movie. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when an uh, additional 25 minutes in there? So, um, yeah, I've got The Shining already, but I wanted this edition because it is extended. And then I also picked up Gremlins 2, the new batch. I, I love Gremlins, the original one. Gremlins 2 isn't as good, but it's still really, really enjoyable. Um, and I've been looking out for it on Blu-ray anyway, because I've got the Diamond Edition of Gremlins 1. But it, I was wanting the Gremlins 2 new batch on Blu-ray as well. Um, I, I just picked this one up because it was £3, so if you bought anything else in FOP. I've not seen it yet. I used to be a massive Tim Burton fan, and I feel that ever since he started to do sort of remakes like Planet of the Apes and Dark Shadows and stuff have not been as good. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for example. But I do like Amy Adams and I do like Christopher Waltz so I thought I'm going to give this a wee go eh, for £3 why not. I haven't watched it yet but we'll wait and see. I also got a couple of um, standalone sort of horror anthologies here. Um, one I've seen, one I haven't seen yet. So this is the one which I've watched which has actually been released from Arrow Video or Arrow Films. Tales of Halloween. Um, this is the best horror anthology I've seen since Trick or Treat. It was really, really good and it's made up of some fantastic directors in there so you can see them. Let's see if I can try and pull them forward there. So Lucky McGee, Neil Marshall, uh, yeah just quite a few really good horror directors in there. This is the other one that I picked up which is the Horror Network. Sorry I almost dropped you there. I haven't watched this one yet, it was only, it wasn't expensive, but I thought, I'll give it a wee go. I've seen Holidays on Netflix, and some of them were good, some of them not so much, so I didn't bother picking that one up. I um, also got Supernatural Season 11. I've actually not got to the end of Season 10 yet, but I love Supernatural, I love the relationship between Sam and Dean, so I was, I was always going to pick up the extra seasons anyway. And a wee pile of Arrow video stuff. So I got Black Cat. In your vase is a locked room and only I have a key. Now I actually do have the Black Cat box set. But I generally, if I can see these ones quite cheap, I'll pick them up in the, the Amory cases. Because I hate taking the special editions in and out just in case I damage them. So these were down in the FOP Halloween sale. So that's the reason why I picked them up. And I also picked up Edition. Now I do have Edition as a steelbook as well, but the same thing, I hate having to take my steelbooks in and out of the, the packaging just in case I damage them, especially the Arrow video ones. Uh, and again, it was in the, the FOP Arrow sale for Halloween, so I picked it up. It's actually the alternative cover art that I've got on, so on all of them I just flipped them around and mixed up a wee bit. Now I may or may not have shown this in a previous video, I couldn't see it that I'd done it, but... I did receive my final, oops, a lot of glare in that one, oh, sorry. This is what happens when you try and do videos by yourself, you drop everything. But, hold on, I'll take it out so that there's not so much glare. Yeah, so I got my final Arrow Video Steelbook, which was King of New York. Um, I, I'm i still waiting for Porky's and Long Good Friday, which my mum and my sister have got me for Christmas, so at least I know they're coming. But yeah, this was the last one that I needed. I don't know whether you would include Voices Steelbook as an Arrow video, because it's actually Arrow Films, but um, I do enjoy the movie, so I think if I see that Steelbook cheap, I will pick it up. But yeah, I'm needing to do a complete Arrow video Steelbook once um, I get Porky's and Long Good Friday for Christmas. and. Um, just run through what all the ones I've got. I love them. They are my pride and joy. So, uh, yeah, that's everything I've picked up for this week. And hopefully, my special surprise. Let's just say it's a box or something that's coming through the door from Arrow Video. Um, comes through tomorrow or Saturday. I've, I've had the email saying it's been sent. So, fingers crossed, I get it soon. I can't wait to get it and do a wee video of an unboxing for you. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching. And if you want to leave any comments or ask any questions, just ask away. You know I like to chat about films. Um, and please like and subscribe. Take care.